Sheffield Blitz claim the lives of 668 civilians, 25 servicemen, 1,586 were injured, 40,000 made homeless. In Sheffield, the alert was founded 130 times. Almost all of them were false alarms triggered by an aircraft by the media or their base for the target. But on 16 occasions, the alarms were genuine. One of the genuine alarms sounded at 7 p.m. on Thursday, December 12, 1940. The blitz had come to Sheffield.
we had a man in the steel factory yeah. give me the coordinates for his being captured, so he probably knows something. So I suggest uh, some sort of surprise type very soon. No. Oh, show me the plans for this new work. Well, this is his actually. Yeah. So I have to go from the yard, 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 to the yard. Yeah. Once you get there, it'll be easy to find it, I mean. Okay. Oh, shit, it's still moving. Oh, bloody hell, Forge Masters. Look at that. 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 Where's my arm? Where's Sheffield? Where's my golf? He'll hand it over there, sir. Uh, not much, but it'll get you back. <laughs> How's this? German U boats. Mm, don't believe German. It's of the German Gander. German U boats, German bombers, and the German fleet seeking serious damage between. Between a total of 700,000 to 1 million of our ships, tons of ships. It's all lies. I mean, might might be real. No, nah, come on, it ain't real. Yeah, I've been out there, I know. We were from because we didn't like us too well, because we were English and plus, because we had all the, the machinery that made all the protection for the tanks and everything like that.
Oh my gosh, I remember 10 years ago, and there used to be a little park over there, and there used to be a pub on the side where I used to go and have a drink and smoke with my friends. Now look at it, them Germans. One day, I will get them back. The time at which I worked at was in the East End, and after a 12 hour shift, I cycled home. My friend and I had been tempted to go to town that night. But when he called at our house in Chelsea Street, some instinct told me to stay by the fire side. Soon the sirens sounded. Then the bombing started. So the house was hit and our fire was blown out. In my bed, as the beam fell straight across it, the thing that annoyed me the most, that after being constipated for years, that bomb cured me but blew the toilets down.